My Seven Chakras, episode 108. The only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. The Seven Chakras, swirling vortices of energy, positioned throughout our body, from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. For thousands of years, this ancient wisdom has been passed on from master to disciple. What are the functions of these energy centers? And could these chakras help you unlock your destiny and find your true purpose? Welcome to My 7 Chakras. And now, your host, Aditya Jai Kumar. What's up, action takers? AJ here, and I am excited because we are back to learn ancient wisdom that can help us become healthier, overcome obstacles, and find our life's true calling. You see, today is episode number 108, my fellow action takers, a very powerful number according to ancient tradition. An article on Yoga Journal reads, renowned mathematicians of Vedic culture viewed 108 as a number of wholeness of existence. This number also connects the moon, sun, and the earth, the average distance of the sun and the moon to the earth is 108 times their respective diameters. And according to yogic tradition, there are 108 pitas or sacred sites throughout India. There are also 108 Upanishads and 108 Marma points or sacred places of the body. So the way I interpret this is whatever action you take today is going to set the tone for the rest of your journey. Today is a precious day, action taker. So if there's something special you're going to do today, keep in mind that you've listened to episode 108. And as you know, I'm always trying to enhance the quality of the show, but I can't do it without your input. And that's why I'm conducting a short survey. To take part, all you have to do is visit my 7 forward slash survey. That's my 7 forward slash survey. So your input is really valuable. Take a few minutes, share your thoughts and help me help you. And moving on, I am super excited to bring you our featured guest for today, Shonjala Pierce. So Shonjala, are you ready to inspire? Yes, I am. Great. So, Shonjula Pierce is an author, meditation and law of attraction coach. She teaches her clients how to obtain health and well-being by mastering the law of attraction using Qigong meditation. So, Shonjula, I've given our listeners a short intro, but take about a minute to help our listeners get to know a bit more about you. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, AJ. Again, my name is Shonjula Pierce and I inspire and awaken people to their own innate power to heal. I allow my inner guides to speak through me so the messages you hear are clear and understandable. Again, my areas of focus are the law of attraction and Qigong meditation, as you mentioned. I use both of these principles because I feel they work well together. They both allow you to step into your own creative powers. I specifically teach and love Qigong meditation. It's part of the traditional Chinese medicine system, and it's the art and science of using breathing techniques techniques, mm-hmm. gentle movement, and meditation to cleanse, strengthen, and circulate chi, which is energy. And we're all energy, and our health is directly related to how much energy is flowing through our channels. Many times, there's a stagnation of this energy because of stress and anxiety, and but that is usually a result of the situation, whether what is happening in the present moment. So I like to teach people to stay in the present moment and to really tap into that their own innate power to heal themselves physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Mm-hmm. That sounds really exciting. And I can't wait to learn more about Qigong meditation. Now, before we move into today's episode, we usually take a few moments to get inspired and be ready to take in the information and stories that you're going to share. And we're going to do that with an inspirational quote. Sound like a plan? Yes, sir. Great. So what is your favorite? favorite inspirational quote and also tell us how you apply this quote to your life. My favorite quote is by Ralph Waldo Emerson. The only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. I just love it. I just really feel like it encompasses everything I do and who I am. It's like every moment we have a chance to be and decide who we are by the decisions we make every day. And every day I'm consciously making the choices to decide how I wish to be represented. 
Of course, there are times that I present myself in a way that doesn't reflect my highest desire. And so one of my favorite things to do is to reevaluate that situation and to reframe it in a way that's more positive. So if I made a certain choice that I don't feel represents me as a person, I ask myself, well, how could I have done that better? What is a better way to have done that? And then I really just visualize myself doing that. So in my belief system, so the next time a situation like that occurs, I'm more prone to act in the way that I want to represent myself as opposed to the past conditioning of how I have reacted to that situation. Mm -hmm. I think that's a powerful quote. The only person you're destined to become is a person you decide to. to be so action tribe what is that one decision who is that person that you have decided to become today so thanks a lot for sharing shonjala and with that let's dive in what exactly is qigong meditation is really it's to better help frame it cuz more people i think are familiar with yoga mm-hmm. some people describe qigong as chinese yoga so it's really is about breathing is about moving is gentle movement so you're moving with your breath and it's about meditation and so you're basically the focus is to strengthen your chi which is your energy um because chi means energy gong loosely translated means cultivating this energy so you're really trying to cultivate and maximize the energy that's flowing through your body in order to improve your health wonderful so i love that you named it chinese yoga because it helps people who are aware of yoga to get to know what chi gong is and you mentioned that it's all about cultivating that energy flow within your body the chi that's already flowing with in your body but cultivating it so that you can become healthier wiser and stronger now i'm sure that many of our listeners may be hearing the term qigong for the very first time so what are some of the benefits of qigong meditation oh many many <laughs> <laughs> i would say the same benefits as yoga you know you get a clear mind you become more grounded of course it improves your health because you're just you're moving your body and you're allowing the qi to flow because when there's a blockage of chi there's pain there's you know physical pain in your body mm-hmm. and if you can relax and allow more energy to flow that decreases your pain so that of course improves your health it helps you feel better because it's going to start releasing these old emotional blockages as well it will bring you closer to your inner being your spirit again is all related to the energy because we're all energy and we're just getting back reconnecting to our higher source energy is what i like to call it but you can call it your spirit your inner guides whatever you want to call it mhm no another art form that a lot of people tend to do in addition to qigong is tai chi yeah. so what exactly is the difference between tai chi and qigong because you have chi in both right oh yeah yeah i like to say as qigong and tai chi are very similar and is many times it's hard to really separate the two mm-hmm. but qigong is more of a simple practice if you think about let's say a symphony like to me tai chi is a symphony because it'll be like a series of movements right. whereas qigong is kind of just one small portion of that symphony it's not really it's more like playing your chords or something like that it's very simple movements that you may you repeat over and over again. So let's say you had five movements and you would repeat them 20 times or something like that. Whereas tai chi it might be a series of 20, 30 movements in the series or more. I like that. I like that. I love simplicity. So it's about learning these few moments, five to six movements that you can replicate every single day, maybe in the mornings and the evenings and over a period of time as you begin getting better at those flows, at those movements, you experience that change. Is that correct? Yes. So Let's take a few steps back. How did you first get into qigong? Oh, <laughs> I actually first started in yoga. <laughs> oh, okay. I practiced yoga for about 10 years back and then I moved on to qigong. I really loved yoga and when I I signed up for this qigong class, they actually classified it as yoga. <laughs> <laughs> and I went and I experienced the class and it was a profound awakening for me because I actually started experiencing feeling the energy flow through me which is something that I hadn't felt in yoga. Mm-hmm. I felt more grounded in yoga, you know, like the groundedness, but I didn't really feel the energy flow and I when I started feeling that in chi go 
song. I was like, wow, what is this energy that we are? And that started the journey of me investigating further about Qigong. Wonderful. Now, let's talk about this investigation. You went for a class, which sort of was a yoga class, but then you ended up learning Qigong flows. You felt better. You were able to feel that energy flow. What did you do next? Did you reach out to, you know, an, a master? Did you read a book? Oh, oh, I joined the organization and I took classes regularly. And then I studied on my own. And so I, I just really embraced the whole concept of Qigong, which actually led me to really more appreciate yoga <laughs> after studying Qigong. Wonderful. Now, one of the concepts that you teach is grounding. What exactly is grounding? Grounding is, to me, there are several definitions. It's really... Uh, one difference you could say is about being in your body, really. Uh, most people are so much in their head and can't really relate to the physical beingness that they truly are. And groundedness is like bringing that energy back into your body. Uh, that's one way that I like to um, describe groundedness. So you're like really in touch with your true essence of who you are. Mm -hmm. You can think about it at like a tree. A tree is grounded to this earth. You know, it still sways with the wind. It can, you know, bend and is flexible, but it is still rooted and grounded in its true essence. Wonderful. I love the grounding guided visualization, in fact, where you imagine that you are like a tree and your roots are extending deep into the earth. In fact, to the center of the earth. Yes. And I think after those few moments, you feel much better. That, by the way, I think is a way to heal your root chakra, which is all about getting to the roots and to the survival and things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, I always ask my listeners what they are struggling with. And based on the responses that I've received, many people want advice around losing weight using yoga or meditation. So can meditation really help someone losing weight? Oh, yes. Because many times weight is not really a matter of how much food you're eating because because you're really eating the food because of more than likely an emotional attachment that you have. And so uh, let's say a sensation comes in your body. Well, you feel a sensation and you associate that sensation with hunger. And so you just eat or some people just eat unconsciously because they're just not aware that this sensation is in their body. So mm. meditation can really help you release all that old baggage that's been holding you back and make you more consciously aware of these feelings and therefore make you less prone to eat tons of food in order to compensate for trying to feel better. Got it, got it. That's a wonderful explanation. You mentioned that, you know, people tend to binge eat, right? And it happens to many folks. Sometimes they feel that sensation which they associate with hunger and that leads to that binge eating or overeating or whatever you call it. But you correctly mentioned that meditation helps you dive deep, go to the why is that being caused and release that emotional baggage. And once that's done, then it's the transition to eating less is much more easier. And then automatically the person tends to lose weight. So, love that you put that into perspective yes mm -hmm. it's a more of a true um healing more than like the superficial you know diets that are out there wonderful now by now i'm sure all of our listeners listening to this episode this very moment want to really know how do i do qigong meditation is there a simple technique that you can teach us today oh qigong meditation is there's so many different types of qigong meditation that's what makes it so wonderful mm -hmm. oh let's see is there something i can teach you well, my favorite Qigong practices is really just visualizing because mm -hmm. that's part of Qigong as well. And what I like to do is I like to really get the energy flowing in my hand. So, you know, I put my hands together and I rub them really fast and then I slowly move my hands apart and then I move them back together again. Not touching, but almost touching. You're like doing this in a really slow fashion mm -hmm. because the slower you move, the more easy it is for you to feel that energy. And so you're developing that energy connection between your hands. And so you just like you breathe in and you spread your hands apart. You breathe out and you put your hands back together, almost touching again. And then after about a couple of minutes, you start visualizing a ball between your hand because that helps with people feeling in energy as well. And you just allow the ball to take whatever shape and color that it takes because it's going to vary depending on your mood and the day. 
So some days it may be a white ball, some days it may be a red ball or whatever color it comes, just let it come. And just really just focus on that, just a simple movement with breath and visualization. And that is a very calming, simple Qigong exercise. Wonderful. I really love this particular exercise and this visualization technique. In fact, this particular exercise I share in my email newsletter, the energy ball, because uh, a lot of times people find it hard to grasp the concept of energy healing or Qigong, because sometimes it might come across as very abstract, right? But yes. when a person does this, they rub their palms, they feel the energy ball, they feel the attraction and then the repulsion. And it feels like a tiny little spider webs that attract <laughs> or repulsion pulse uh, the hand and when they know it they feel it deep down that yes okay this is true there definitely is chi or this energy that is there let me know more so <laughs> yes that's basically what happened to me i was like oh my god this is energy <laughs> wonderful wonderful thanks a lot for sharing now for someone listening to this episode right now who really wants to take action today itself and build some momentum towards a healthier life is there a health tip that you'd like to recommend i really focus on guiding people towards their own innate power to heal. And so what I try to teach people is that connection to their inner guide. So I would ask them to really engage the conversation with their inner guides and ask, just say, you know, what do I need to do in order to heal whatever it is that you want to heal? And then just be open to the answers that come to them, you know, because it's going to be different for everyone. There is not one fix for everyone. And so I encourage people to be guided from within on what steps to take to heal themselves. Wonderful. We'll have that up in the show notes. Action Tribe, to access the show notes for this episode, visit my 7 forward slash 108. That's my 7 forward slash 108. If there is no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. Now, this is a powerful old African proverb. Action tribe, no matter what challenge you're facing today, big or small, maybe you have your back against the wall. Maybe you've got a ton of bills to pay. Maybe your business is about to shut down. You've lost your job or people hate you for some reason or the other. No matter how many enemies you have, what really matters is your relationship with your immortal self. Because as the proverb says, if there is no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. So, Sean Angela, take us back to a time when you faced a major challenge. How did you look at the situation back then and then how did you finally overcome it? I faced a major transitional challenge probably around oh let's say four or five years ago and it was really about who I was going to be who did I want to be did mm-hmm. I want to be I was in medical school naturopathic medical school and I was at a juncture where I really was called to teach but to teach in a different way than a traditional way, to teach people that they are more powerful than they've been led to believe, that you are giving signs by your higher self, your alignment, as well, your alignment to your health. Mm-hmm. And, but most people ignore it because we aren't truly taught that. And of course, you know, I'm in medical school and the traditional way is to that other people tell you what's best for you. You know, the doctor, the teacher, the whoever it is, they always know what's better for you as opposed to you stepping into your own power and learning what's best for you yourself. And so it was that, you know, do I continue on on the medical route or do, you know, am I going to be one to inspire people and help people to learn the communication that is already innately there? And so that was kind of an identity crisis for me. And I made the choice, obviously, to (laughs) inspire people that felt It just felt right for me. It was the strongest pull for me. And I know that had I gone the other route, I'd still be searching today for the answer that I was already given, you know, that this is the route that I should be going. So wonderful. So first of all, thank you for sharing the story. Looking back now in just one sentence, maybe what is that one major life lesson that you'd like to share with our listeners? That you can be anyone that you want to be. Really, you can decide to be 
whomever at any juncture in your life is never too late. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. You shared that you were facing this dilemma about who you were going to be. And since you were in medical school, it felt like people were telling you what's best for you. They had this, you know, track out late for you and they wanted you to walk that path. And then you asked yourself, should I go the conventional medical route or your own way? And you decided to listen to your intuition and took your own way. And now looking back, you felt and you feel that you've made the right decision. And Action Tribe, as you move past your challenges and obstacles, you might have people in your life who have their own agenda for you. They have their own plans for you. They tell you that your goals are unreal and that you shouldn't take the road less traveled. In fact, they'll urge you to get back to your usual routine as soon as the weekend draws closer. In such a moment, remember what Steve Jobs once said. He said, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your inner voice more important have the courage to follow your heart and intuition they somehow already know what you truly want to become so shangela have you found your life's calling and if yes what is your life's calling oh yes i've definitely found my life calling <laughs> my life calling is just to allow my inner guides to speak through me and to assist others in developing their own relationship with their inner guides so they can heal themselves in every way fashion and form. Wonderful. So looking back now, was there ever a special moment beyond which you knew deep down that your life was about to change? Take us to that very instant. Uh, yeah, I would say again, it was, you know, still in naturopathic medical school. <laughs> and mm -hmm. and I, it was really after reading the book Conversations with God. And that was just like the light bulb, another light bulb that just opened up a whole new realm. It kind of confirmed what I had felt my whole life and I was wow this is it this is this is what I've been I knew to be true and now I feel validated in that so mm -hmm. Well, that is inspirational and I'm sure that a lot of our listeners, many of our listeners listening to the show right this moment can relate with your situation because it seems like a lot of us are going through this fork road where we were doing things one way and now we have to decide, do we go that same route or do we make a change? And uh, I'm sure at this point, many of our listeners taking you as an example will realize that we can head in whatever direction we want. We can be whoever we want, but we need to make the decision today itself and not delay that. We come to the final round of today's episode, a rapid fire round called the wisdom round. Are you ready? Yes. Great. So what is the best advice that you've ever received? You create your own reality. And <laughs> that, that's it. It's like, wow, I can control and, you know, create whatever I want to in this life. I just have to decide what that is for me. And so that was like a, an awakening moment for me. It was awesome. Great. So name a personal habit that keeps you going. Daily meditation. I meditate every day. Okay. And what is your morning ritual like? Uh, my morning ritual starts with... I wake up, I give thanks for the day and thanks for everything that I'm grateful for at that moment. I listen to some inspirational music to start me getting to feel good. And I continue with that um, good feeling vibration. And I then I get into my meditation again. I mm. And I just is really about increasing that flow of energy um, flowing through me. And after that, I get up, I drink my, you know, large glass of water, I move around some and I go outside and I ground. I that's pretty much my workstation is outside is I set up my desk and I put my feet in the dirt and I ground. Great. What has been the most inspiring book that you've ever read? Conversations with God, book one. Okay, we'll have that up in the show notes for our listeners to read and go to as well. Action Tribe to access today's show notes, visit my 7 chakrascom forward slash 108. And it's my 7 com forward slash 108. So, Shangela, thank you for joining us today. Before you go, tell us one thing that you're really grateful for and tell us the best way we can find you online. I'm grateful for this opportunity to spread my inspiration to others it's truly a blessing so thank you for that aj you can find me on my website seekwithinyou.com is that's www.s-e-e-k-w-i-t-h-i-n-y-o-u.com and i'm available for consultations to help people in guiding them and i also do workshops as well awesome so we'll have that in the show notes as well so there you go action tribe qigong meditation if that's something that you've heard before or if 
That's something that you've never heard before, but maybe you've heard yoga. Remember that Qigong is all about cultivating that energy within you in a way that results to your health, mental, physical, and spiritual. So it's something that's really exciting. I love this topic. And I was just waiting for the next guest who's going to talk about Qigong meditation. So in order to learn more, all you need to do is seek within you.com that's the website seek within you.com we'll have that up in the show notes as well and action try before we end today's episode make sure you download your gift for listening to today's episode 27 of the most powerful quotes shared on air a document that you can have handy wherever you need that dose of motivation or inspiration to download your gift visit our website my seven chakras.com forward slash 27 download that's my seven chakras.com forward slash 27 download so shangela thank you so much for coming on our show today talk to us about the power of qigong meditation and taking us one step closer to a human revolution thank you aj many blessings you are listening to my seven chakras go to my s-e-v-e-n chakras.com download your free gift get inspired and take action transform your life today